Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. Every so often, I'll run across a tune that just embodies some of the ideas we've been talking about on the channel. Um, a song that I love for that is What a Wonderful World. Let's take a look at it. Well, um, What a Wonderful World is a 1967 song by um, George David Weiss and uh, Bob Thiel. And I'm gonna play it in F. We're gonna talk about a couple of things about it. First of all, it's got a great example of word to melody correspondence. In other words, I think the melody encapsulates the feeling of the words. It's a, a beautiful um, example of modal interchange as well, and it's sort of shocking to find it in this tune, you know, from the late 60s, um, as, as well as a couple of other things. Well, uh, I'm going to play the first phrase, and then we'll just pick it apart, shall we? Okay, I'm in the key of F, and the melody begins on the fifth of the scale, C. So... Well, right in those first eight bars, we've got a couple of devices, musical tools that create a very expressive language. I mean, first of all, it's very clear what key we're in. Um, right to the tonic, the F chord. The three chord, which is my favorite emotional modulation, and that's almost always followed by the four chord, and it is here too sinking back down again to three. So far, the melody has been just chord tones. That's just up the chord, right? Let's keep sinking down, he says. And if we keep sinking down, we get this beautiful um, secondary dominant, A7 here. It's a dominant chord. A7 leads to D minor, in other words, a deceptive cadence. So we've wound up back on the tonic of the scale. And this note here is the minor third of D minor. And the next moment, I think to myself, here I'm going to think, and I'm going to turn the minor third into the major third of D flat major. D flat's not in the key of F. It's a, a modal transformation. They're, they're, we're using um, modal exchange. We're borrowing from the F minor chord. In order to grab that D flat, and it's a surprising and uplifting moment, a major chord where there was a minor chord just a moment before. The third, the minor third becomes a major third. It's genius. The next chord is a slash chord. That's C in the bass, but B flat in the right hand. The F is still there. And it's a way of creating propulsion. And it's a kind of a, I guess I would call it a, a, a plagal, a plagal cadence. Yeah. Right? It's so brilliant and simple and effective. just goes to the five chord. And back to the one. Well, here's what happens on the one chord, and I think it's so sharp. So, and listen, that's an F chord, but it starts on the four, goes down to the three, goes down another half step, raise nine, back, so beautiful. to the D minor to 
to C. Now this is the, the sixth chord to five, sixth chord again. Diminished seven, it's functioning as a secondary dominant, right? It's functioning as D7. And the next chord, of course, since D7 pushes to G, is G minor. G minor 7 is the 2, 2, 5, 1, and we're off to the races again. Listen, I'm going to just change the mic setup and uh, I'll play the whole thing for you. Well, I hope that's been useful. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I do my next video. I'll see you next time.